Hi and welcome to another PhotoBlazer tutorial. Today we're going to cover the common metering modes on SLR cameras, that is matrix metering, spot metering and center weighted metering modes. So every modern DSLR has an automatic exposure mode and this uses three types of metering usually. First, center weighted metering. This is when a circular area of the scene is used to correctly expose the photograph by the DSLR system. Second, spot metering. This is when the circular area is a really small spot. This gives you more control over what you want to expose for. And finally, matrix metering. This, use, this uses an average calculation of the whole scene and all the light in that scene to calculate what the exposure should be to produce a good photograph. So I'll demonstrate these three modes in this difficult to shoot scene. You have lights, you have an open window, and you have a dark Christmas tree. Let's see all three modes taking the same photograph in this scene. So this is a view through the viewfinder of the camera. In matrix metering mode, we're taking an average of the whole scene. This includes the light coming through the window and from the flowers and light bulbs above us. This results in a much faster shutter speed, one two thousandth of a second. So in this result, you can see that the matrix metering mode has done a pretty good job of averaging out all the light. But because of the window light that comes in, the final exposure is darker than we might expect. So the Christmas tree is still quite dark. In spot metering mode, we're using the middle of the Christmas tree as the center of our exposure. This is a very dark area. So we're getting a slow shutter speed of about one four hundredth of a second. You can see because the spot meter focused in right into that tree, the tree and the ornaments are really well exposed. The window and the fluorescent lights are blown out, but that's only because we focused in on the tree and we only wanted that area correctly metered and correctly exposed. In center weighted mode, we're still exposing for the center of the tree, but we also have probably a bit of residue light coming in from the fluorescent light bulb or the curtain, which results in a slower shutter speed than matrix mode, but still faster than spot metering, so about one thousandth of a second. So the center weighted metering has done a better job of exposing the, for the tree than the matrix metering, but because the window light and the fluorescent light still streamed into the center weighted area, you can still see the photograph is a little bit underexposed. So, in conclusion, the three different modes are used in different scenarios. Matrix metering is a great general purpose metering system to use. Whenever you're taking photographs of family, friends, or even just in general, matrix metering is probably the mode you want to be in. If you have more difficult lighting with with a bit of bright light in the background or in the front, you might want to switch to center weighted metering that goes right into the scene and allows you to expose for the subject in the middle of the scene. Spot metering is more useful when your subject is smaller and the light is really difficult and you want to get right into the scene even more than center weighted can offer and allow you to expose for the photograph.